We are going to ask for those that are here with Dr. Hector P. Garcia and Dr. Cleo Garcia, American GI Form Chapters of Texas, stand up for veterans uh, regarding the fifth annual scholarship awards banquet. Hello, Ms. Vyth. Ms. Vyth, Joan. <laughs> The American GI Forum of the United States was organized for the purpose of protecting the rights of the men and women who served in the United States Armed Forces. Founder Dr. Hector P. Garcia and the founding members of the American GI Forum provided the initial leadership that guided the American GI Forum's success in serving the needs of such men and women. Through its motto, education is our freedom and freedom should be everybody's business, the American GI Forum is committed to a greater America through the educational process. The American GI Forum has remained true to its commitment and mission for 67 years of serving our veterans and their families. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as your mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby humbly proclaim May 12, 2016, Dr. Hector P. Garcia and Dr. Cleo Garcia, American GI Forum Chapters of Texas Stand Up for Veterans, Fifth Annual Scholarship Awards Banquet in Corpus Christi, Texas. That is a mouthful. <laughs> I urge all of our citizens of our community to recognize the contribution and efforts of the American GI Forum and their contributions to our community and the nation as a whole. We appreciate you all so much. Thank you. I, I, I hesitate sometimes because I don't call her mayor or your honor. I, it's Nella because I've known her Please so long. <laughs> I, I campaigned for her when she ran the first time uh, for state rep. That's a long time. Lord have mercy. I'm sorry. I'm dating you. <laughs> I'm Joan Vyth and I'm the commandress. I make that word up. Of the Dr. Cleo Garcia uh, <laughs> chapter. And I'm so glad that some of our members are here. Rosa Solis is uh, my secretary of the Dr. Cleo. Elva Estrada is also a member, but she's the wife of Moses Estrada, who is the commander of the Dr. Hector P. Garcia chapter. And Alex Garcia, who's my treasurer and saves my money. He's always telling me, Joe, we don't have any money. <laughs> And, and Armando Oropez, who is the treasurer of the Dr. Hector P. Garcia and the guiding force uh, with our banquet. We're having our banquet on May the 12th at the um, Airport Holiday Inn, six o'clock. You can still make it if you want to come. And we give 15 scholarships. And I'm going to tell you, that's a hard job. I've been scholarship chair. This is the fifth year. But it's so rewarding because we're handing out those scholarships to these young people. And I think, what if we're looking at a future president of our United States and we help put them there? Because I won't see it, but still, it's exciting. And then our veterans, David, that we've given scholarship to. If you're a veteran and you're going to college, give you a scholarship too so it's just so rewarding but without the help of members like this we couldn't do it and it's all teamwork and it comes from the heart so we expect you if you haven't gotten a ticket this year next year you sure better <laughs> Okay, Moses couldn't be with us today, but uh, again, I'd like to invite you to our banquet, which is uh, this coming Thursday, and it's an honor to be here representing, of course, the American Jack Forum, but also um, keeping up with the legacy of Dr. Garcia in education and, of course, for the veterans. Thank you. Thank you. Round of applause, please.
to see you today. It's good to see you, sir. Morning. Thank you for being here. Generation Texas Signing Day. Dr. Cunningham and team. Generation Texas is an innovative initiative of the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board, and it's supported by Education to Employment Partners, the Region P-16 Council to ensure all students are prepared for post-secondary education, and the initiative creates a culture in which post-secondary education and success are a priority and possi a possibility for all of our Coastal Bend students. Generation Texas Signing Day is a day to congratulate the graduating senior class of 2016 and to celebrate these students as they take their next steps towards realizing their futures. This day provides an opportunity to unite as a state and inspire students by sharing the joys and benefits that come with post-secondary education and career readiness. Pride in oneself, broader opportunities, a rewarding career path, and the ability to take care of family. In support of Generation Texas Day, all Texans are asked to wear their favorite college t-shirt, hook 'em horns, oh, excuse me, uh, uh, share, success, <laughs> share success stories and celebrate decisions about post-secondary education. The day provides an opportunity to paint a powerful picture of an entire community's united support of post-secondary education for Generation Texas, and now therefore pursuant to the powers vested in me as your mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby humbly proclaim May the 13th, 2016, Generation Texas Signing Day in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I encourage all of our citizens to congratulate graduating seniors as they take their next steps in receiving an education what a noble cause. Also, GI form and scholarships, and you all with everything you're doing, great partnerships. Thank you all. Thank you, Mayor, and, and thank you all for all the things that you do in the community for our students, the scholarships, the support, and Friday is the day to celebrate our seniors and especially those who are moving on to post-secondary education because we know here in our community in the next few years, two-thirds of the jobs will require something beyond high school. And so we want our students to get that message and move forward, and we want to celebrate them, similar to signing ceremonies for athletes. We know these students are the future of the Coastal Bend, so please encourage them, wear your college t-shirt, be proud, and, uh, and celebrate those seniors as well. We have members of our Education to Employment Partners team here, and so I'm going to let them uh, 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 int quickly introduce themselves. Alba Silvas, Workforce Development, Workforce Solutions, Coastal Bend. Stacey Signs Educational Opportunity Center from the Office of Student Access at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Keenan Woods, GEAR program with the Office of Student Access at Texas A&M University, Kingsville as well. Stephanie Smith with the Education Service Center here in Region 2, and I work with our, our counselors to help students be college ready. Good morning, Shelly Key, Executive Director of Admission at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I went to look at my bike ride last week. So, where am I having a drink? I 
My bike uh, was a hundred mile ride, so I was I was showing pride. Been good to see this one. Friday, Friday, Friday. Thank you for your work. National Peace Officers Memorial Day and National Police Officers Week. If I could have all of my peace officers and certainly all of my Corpus Christi Police Department representatives, please come up front. Officer Herod. Mark. Por favor. I know you don't have your cachucha, but that's okay. <laughs> Chief Simpson and... It was an inside thing here. Just to let you all know that Chief Markle would have been here, but he's out of town. Right. Yes, and so we have our Commander Gutierrez. Pat, Pat, come on in, folks. Come on in. The police officers of America have worked with devotion and selflessness on behalf of the people of this country, of this state, of this city, regardless of the peril or hazard to themselves. Police officers have safeguarded the lives and property of their fellow Americans. By the enforcement of our laws, these same officers have given our country, our city, internal freedom from fear of the violence and civil disorder that is presently affecting other nations, sometimes here in our own country. These men and women by their patriotic service and their dedicated efforts have earned the gratitude of our entire nation and also of our entire city. The City of Corpus Christi Police Department is recognizing those courageous fallen heroes who have given the ultimate sacrifice for the citizens of our community. Now therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as your mayor of the City of Corpus Christi, I do hereby humbly proclaim May the 16th, 2016, as National Peace Officers Memorial Day. This is May 15th through the 21st. May we never forget those who have gone before us. National Police Officers Week in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I encourage all of our citizens to show their appreciation to the police officers of our city and take a moment to remember those officers who have given their lives in the line of duty. Is Scott Leeton here? I know he had some commitments outside um, today. He'll be in and out today. But I would like for you to say a few words. And we just humbly and with all of our hearts give you a huge debt of gratitude for your service and also remember those and also the families that have those have gone before us. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would like to, on, be, on behalf of Chief Markle, um, humbly thank everyone for being here. And um, the, the whole reason for this coming, it'll be next week, is to sacrifice or to honor the sacrifices that our officers have made uh, in the line of duty, given their lives for the citizens of this community. And I would encourage everyone to please come out. We will have a ceremony on Monday at 10 a.m. at the Ortiz Center. Uh, if you have not seen the police officer, uh, Memorial ceremony, it is, actually, it, it is a very humbling experience, and uh, I would encourage everyone to please be there. Uh, on behalf of Chief Markle and all officers here, uh, thank you all. Thank you. I'm going to ask our city manager, uh, Mr. Ron Olson, if he can come up and please uh, take a picture with all of our law enforcement here, our police officers, please. Stand behind anyone. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the guy with the cute hair. There you go. See, it has to look better. See, look at him. 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 See, look at him.
laptop. Yes, I know. It's a MacBook. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to our men and women. Uh, National Salvation Army Week. I love this organization. The city of Corpus Christi works closely with the Salvation Army of the Coastal Bend on issues facing homeless families and also veterans of our community. During National Salvation Army Week, the Salvation Army will host several events to include night at the Corpus Christi Hooks on May 10th, breakfast for the best to show appreciation for the first responders on May 11th, a veterans appreciation dinner on May the 12th, a family's first carnival on May the 13th, and a free concert to be held on May the 14th. The Salvation Army helps thousands of men, women, and children annually in the Coastal Bend area and are appreciated for their unending dedication and frankly, we could not do it without you. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as your mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby humbly proclaim May the 9th through the 14th, 2016, as National Salvation Army Week in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I encourage our citizens to recognize the needs of the homeless and support the Salvation Army in its mission to serve our family and our veterans. And Councilwoman Colleen McIntyre, you may be retiring, but I'm keeping you involved in the homeless <laughs> initiative. Thank you to the Salvation Army. Well, it is a busy week, as you've heard. We've got a lot of things going on. I'm Major Terry Ray, the commander of the Salvation Army. And Joan, I'm stealing your title, because this is the commandress of the Salvation Army, <laughs> Major Sharon Ray. And, uh, and our staff uh, and board members uh, committed. We are really uh, exactly what you said, Mayor. We are, are looking at and, and uh, caring for those who have no voice the families, the veterans, uh, those folks who have served and are serving and just want to get back into uh, the, um, the mainstream. And this week, we're doing everything that the Salvation Army represents uh, throughout Corpus Christi and the rest of the country with first responders, uh, firemen, police officers. They're getting breakfast tomorrow. Uh, and. Uh, and we're on Saturday, however, is a, is a music concert and graduation at Cole Park. And the interesting thing is that we're doing almost an Austin-type food truck uh, competition. Those emergency canteens that roll out during hurricanes that happen elsewhere, uh, they, um, they're coming and they're preparing food for uh, everyone who comes by at, at Cole Park on Saturday afternoon from 1 until 4. So come on by, see what, uh, what kind of things they cook up in those mobile canteens. They're obviously, if you look at us, they do all right. Uh, uh, and uh, and we, uh, we cook up some amazing things on those mobile kitchens. Thank you all very much. It's a pleasure and an honor to be a part of Corpus Christi and to serve those who uh, uh, are in our community right now. God bless you all. Well done. You do a great job. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Good to see you again. Thank you. Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Month. Oh, I know a lot of these people. <laughs> Uh, good for you. Uh, motorcycle safety, so good for the awareness. Good, good to see you again. This group is not only promoting uh, bicycle safety, but they also do a lot of wonderful things to help people in our community. And um, I've ridden beside, I have my motorcycle license and I've uh, ridden beside you guys. Yeah, I used to have a Harley. How about them apples? Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Month. Today, society is finding that more citizens involved in motorcycling on the roads and also our country, there certainly seem to be increasing. Motorcyclists are roughly unprotected and therefore more prone to injury or death in a crash than other vehicle drivers. Campaigns have helped inform, dr excuse me, inform the riders and motorists alike on motorcycle safety issues to reduce motorcycle-related risks, injuries, and most of all, fatalities. And you have done this through a comprehensive approach to motorcycle safety. It's the responsibility of all who put themselves behind the wheel to become aware of motorcyclists regarding them with the same respect as any other vehicle traveling the highways of this country, just like our cyclist. Uh, it is the responsibility of riders and motorists alike to obey all traffic laws and safety rules. We urge all citizens of our community to become aware of the inherent danger involved in operating a motorcycle and for riders and motorists alike to give each other the mutual respect they deserve on the road. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me, as mayor of your city of the Corpus Christi, I do hereby humbly proclaim May this of 2016 Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Month in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I encourage all of our citizens to do their part to increase safety and awareness in our community. Thank you. I thank you all. Miss Mayor, you're looking pretty again. You never age. Yeah, <laughs> Um, I'd like to thank everybody that showed up here today. Um, I know city council, so it was cool. Um, but I do wanna say that in the state of Texas, we've had 417 deaths since the new year, but unfortunately that has climbed quite a bit. Just in Corpus Christi, we've had too many too soon. Um, and what I really wanna iterate is we all bike ride bikes, we know how dangerous it is to be the minute you straddle that motorcycle you don't know if you're going to come home or not and most of these people these gentlemen and ladies here they ride and we just don't ride on weekends we just ride all the time um, you know if a lot of more people would just take the time to look just keep an eye they say oh your your pipes are too loud you know what that could save my life one day and it has, most of these people have run into that. It's very, very important that, you know, your awareness is super alert when you're on four wheels because they have bumpers, we don't have bumpers on our bikes. I'd like to introduce to you, oops, he's upside down. <laughs> My son, Fernando. My son, Fernando, passed away a week before. My friend, Mr. Simpson, okay. It was tragic. I know that Senor Simpson knew how to ride a bike. My son knew how to ride a bike. They both tried to avert what happened. But it don't matter how good of a bike rider you are. There's only two kinds of bikers that are out there. Ones that have gone down and ones that are going down. So if I could just plead with you, everyone that gets into an accident, it's somebody. It's somebody's grandpa, grandma, cousin, aunt, you know, mayor's friend, me. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's, it's very important because we, we matter. Bikers matter. 
and I thank the police department for not hassling us too much. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Mayor. Bless you. Appreciate you very, very much. Thank you.